Now, sometimes it happens that you copy some data from the internet and it is not shown properly in the table format. As you can see here, this is a haphazard data that I'll convert into a very meaningful table. So this is very useful tool and you can use this driving directions word file, which is attached with the link of this video to practice this. Now to convert uh, this data into a table, I'll just select all the data by control A and then I'll go to insert and under the table option, there is a special option named convert text to a table. But under this option, it will ask you to separate text at paragraph or tabs or commas. For that, I have to first see the non-printing characters, which we have seen in the starting. So I'll just press cancel. I'll go to the home tab and under the home tab, just click this P sign that is non-printing characters. So as you can notice that it will show all the non-printing characters, only some of them are separated by enter key because enter key is represented with this P sign and most of the data is separated in arrow keys. That means most of the times tab is used between the data. So I'll just hide this non-printing characters and then I'll go to insert again select the table, go to convert text to tables. So I'll just separate it by and as soon as I press OK, you can notice that it is arranged in a very meaningful and proper way. So this is how you can arrange the data. OK, at the bottom, I can uh, notice that this text goes under page two also. So if I increase the size of it, maybe it will come under one page to fit the data. And similarly, you, uh, if you want to adjust any column, you can do that by moving the column to adjust the text properly. Now I can see that, uh, in the last, this text is just showing under one column of the table and other columns are empty. So what I can do is I can merge three of them into a single cell field. So I can select from the corner, select whole text and then words right. This is similar to the selection of icons. Like you hold the left click and start moving. So similarly here, I'll select all the columns. Now under the layout tab, I'll click on merge cells. So you can notice this is now showing properly and all three columns are and all three columns are merged now. So I'll attach this raw file of driving directions with the link of this video so that you can just download and practice along.